Welcome guys, welcome to the channel, Power Driven Diesel. Today we have an exciting thing. We have a new product, a brand new, actually, like, brand. Yeah, so guys in the sled pulling world are very familiar with Kenny's pulling parts. Kenny is known for his pulling clutches. He makes clutches for like the hardcore sled puller crowd, like big, big power trucks. And he makes a lot of cool kind of billet parts for, you know, top level competition trucks. In fact, we ran his girdle on that engine that we blew up on the We dyno. have his straight cut gears and our big motor. We, we actually use Kenny for a few things, not a clutch obviously, but we don't have a sled pull truck either. So as we wanted to make a street clutch, not a sled pull specific clutch with organic linings, and uh, Kenny put this clutch kit together for us. And we bought a few and they're on the website now. So this is a good clutch and Kenny actually, wa he actually wants to expand this a lot. Like he wants to offer a full line of clutches for all different Dodges, Fords, Duramaxes. He's, he wants to get into the street crowd, uh, the street diesel truck scene, I guess. And he's more than competent and able to make a clutch, obviously. He's made multi-thousand horsepower clutches work. So this is his first offering. This is for the NV4500 with the upgraded input shaft. So, a lot of guys will put a dual disc clutch back in the day on their stock size input shaft, which is an inch and a quarter. That's like putting a triple disc torque converter on a stock input shaft on an auto. It just leads to a broken input shaft. Yeah, totally. Same thing with a clutch. So if you're going to put a double disc on there that can hold the power, you need a shaft that can hold the power. So this is an economical inch and three eighths input shaft like everybody else uses. This is the standard size shaft that they'd use on like a six speed. Mm -hmm. So even the factory, when they did the NV5600 and raised the power rating, they upped the shaft. Yeah, three dollars a week. that tells you tells The stock you one's not good. The stock one's not up to par. So anyway, this is a really nice kit. There's, I don't think there's anything exceptional about it compared to anybody else's. They're very standard, but, but it is great. The thing I like about it is Kenny himself machines all the parts used in this. So you're not getting, you know, stuff, everything made overseas. He actually machines the flywheel, all kind of special stuff. So this is kind of kind of cool. I like that way. And we like Kenny. Yeah, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. So with COVID and everything, inflation, what do you want to call it? A lot of prices have gone up. If, if you check some comparable brands from like South Bend or Valair, they're great products. We mm -hmm. sell them. Yeah. Um, everything's gone up recently. Yeah. This clutch is going to retail for sixteen ninety five. Yep. And for the month of June only, we're doing a little special to release this. Yeah. We're we knock a hundred bucks off, right? Yeah. So fifteen ninety five for the month of June. We have a limited quantity of these. We have more coming, but uh, anyway, get get your name on one of these now. If we run out, we'll honor the price. If we run out and we can get you one in the next batch of clutches. But uh, just so you know, this is a dual disc, full organic. So this one is really meant for the towing crowd. It's really smooth engagement. If you're backing your trailer up a hill, this thing's not going to grab and, and shimmy on you. It's going to be smooth engagement. It's a lighter pressure plate. It's not a big raised 3,800 pound nope. one that kills you. You don't really technically need upgraded hydraulics or anything for it. It's just a nice clutch. It's just a nice, smooth clutch. Um, and Kenny, Kenny rates this at 550 horsepower, 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. So it'll handle most guys out there on a, on a manual transmission. Let's be honest, a stock clutch, what do they slip at? About 800 foot-pounds on our dyno. So really, it'll probably hold 1,600 foot-pounds so it slips, but it won't last. Just like a stock clutch doesn't last now, at all at 800 It's rated pounds. at that, you know, while towing full last. So if you're like hot riding around, it'll handle a lot more power than that hot riding around. If you got a big trailer behind it, it'll start slipping probably, you know, weight's a big deal when things start to slip, right? So he's got to rate this for worst case scenario. But if you have a hot rod truck, we know personally, these clutches hold a lot more on the dyno without slipping than the 550-1100. But that's what he rates it for with a big trailer behind you, whatever thousand pounds. But if you're pounds. the kind of guy that wants to launch in third or fourth and do rolling burnouts for days, you probably should get a more aggressive clutch than yeah, this. Yeah. But if you want a good all around clutch that tows awesome, backs up trailers incredible, this is way better than any stock or oh. any anybody's single disc clutch. You yeah. can't compete with a good dual that. disc. I mean, it's like our, our semi tractor trailer. It has a factory dual disc clutch. Why does it have that? Yeah, because you know, you get Because when you're it. towing 80,000 pounds or you're grossing 80, <laughs> yeah. you need a good clutch. And so that's what they do in semis for a reason. Yep. So anyway guys, month of June, save 100 bucks, 15.95. This is the best deal on this clutch, or this level of clutch anywhere. Comes with everything you see here, everything you need to upgrade your transmission, upgrade and install your clutch. Spacer for the starter, new clutch fork, all the, all the little parts and pieces you need to, to do this. It's a do it in your driveway type project if you want. It's obviously easier with a lift, but yeah. um, you can do it. To do this uh, input shaft, obviously you need to pull the transmission out, but you got to do that to install the clutch anyway. So yeah. it's not really that hard. 
I've uh, installed one and I'm not really a genius, you know, it didn't take, you know, a couple hours. I'm not a manual transmission guy and <laughs> I figured it out. So, yeah. um, so that's it guys. Kenny pulling parts. It's pretty fun to have a new brand. He's a guy who's been around a long time in the diesel scene and the really high end stuff. It's fun to see him starting to want to work with the more diesel street crowd. So we're going to help him out and hopefully this goes well and we'll have a whole line of Kenny's clutches for all kind of different models out there. And uh, so let's help him out, get these things launched. And uh, anyway, if you have any questions, give us a call here at the shop. We have guys who can answer questions and uh, make sure you get the right parts for you. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.